Billy Luna. In a chilling turn of events reminiscent of a horror movie plot, a Florida plastic surgeon finds himself behind bars, accused of a crime that strikes at the heart of his profession and his marriage. Hillary Brown, 33, sought the ultimate perfection under the care of her husband, Dr. Ben Brown, at his Restore Plastic Surgery Center in Gulf Breeze, Florida. What was supposed to be routine procedures turned into a nightmare when Hillary went into cardiac arrest mid-operation, revealing a sequence of events that has shocked the community and devastated her family. Dr. Brown, renowned for his skills honed at Georgetown University Medical School, faces charges of second-degree felony homicide following a harrowing investigation. Please subscribe to the Billy Luna channel and like the video. Thank you. Reports detail a scene of medical chaos. Hillary undergoing multiple surgeries, including arm liposuction and facial injections, even suturing her own wounds during the procedures as her condition deteriorated. Witnesses recounted Hillary's desperate pleas and physical distress, ignored as her life hung in the balance. Shockingly, Despite clear signs of trouble, Dr. Brown allegedly delayed calling emergency services, opting instead to continue injecting substances into his wife's face. Authorities describe an appalling scene where basic medical protocols were ignored, a stark contrast to Dr. Brown's professional accolades. Hillary, a mother of three, slipped into a coma and tragically passed away a week later, her death attributed to complications from lidocaine toxicity, leaving behind grieving loved ones demanding justice. Dr. Brown was arrested and charged in connection with his surgery-obsessed wife's death on his operating table, as shocking details of her death are revealed. Hillary Brown, 33, went under the knife on November 21st at her husband Ben Brown's clinic before suffering a medical emergency in the middle of several procedures. Dr. Brown, 40, was charged on Monday with second-degree felony homicide, manslaughter by culpable negligence in connection with his wife's death following an investigation by county and state officials. Hillary Brown's father has said his daughter enjoyed being married to a plastic surgeon as he could perform any number of surgeries on her at a whim. However, the conditions on the operating table at her husband's practice that led to her death are disturbing following an investigation by the state health department. Dr. Brown's wife was having numerous plastic surgery procedures performed by her husband on that infamous day. Sheriffs discovered that Dr. Brown's patient and wife, Hillary, who had no medical training, almost acted as her own nurse during her own procedure. To begin with, Hillary is said to have spiked her own IV bag while taking a handful of pills that included Valium. Dr. Brown even allowed Hillary to suture her own skin after the first procedure. As her husband began to do liposuction on her arm, Hillary started to grow restless when her feet suddenly started to twitch. She stated that her vision started to blur, and she told her husband, Dr. Brown, that she saw orange, the report claims. However, her husband didn't stop the procedure, continuing to inject substances into her face. Her twitching only got worse until she became unresponsive and began having a seizure, the medical board says. A medical assistant asked Dr. Brown if they should call 911, and Dr. Brown said no. Over the next 10 to 20 minutes, a medical assistant asked Dr. Brown if they should call 911, and Dr. Brown again said no, and then said wait. The medical assistant was scared and a new employee, so she did as Dr. Brown instructed. Dr. Brown didn't just refuse to take Hillary to an emergency care. He began to yell at his staff as the situation worsened. He finally asked an assistant to dial 911 10 to 20 minutes after his wife's seizure. A mother of three young children from a previous marriage, Hillary Brown spent a week in a coma before she passed away as she was taken off life support when it was determined her brain had been starved of oxygen.
Brown passed away seven days after the fateful procedure. Ultimately, the board's official ruling says the way he treated his own wife was careless and haphazard. The level of disregard Dr. Brown paid to patient safety, even when the patient was his wife, indicates that Dr. Brown is unwilling or incapable of providing the appropriate level of care to his future patients, they wrote. Brown could face up to life in prison, life on probation, and a $10,000 fine if convicted on second-degree murder homicide. Dr. Brown's family has denied all the allegations against him, and they say that they will be fighting the charges. They go on to say, Ben continues to mourn the death of his loving wife, Hillary, and his arrest, which is completely without merit. The family goes on to say, Ben is a conscientious, dedicated, and incredibly talented surgeon, and he is looking forward to presenting the actual facts in a court of law and clearing his name of this horrible accusation. His clinic is reportedly also facing several separate medical malpractice lawsuits. Apparently... His wife was obsessed with looking beautiful and getting plastic surgery procedures. An award-winning surgeon, Ben studied at Georgetown University and graduated top of his medical school class, according to his company profile. His specialties include breast enhancement, facial rejuvenation, and body contouring. Hillary reportedly married Brown around two years ago. Their marriage was intense. Some have speculated that she may have wanted to leave Ben if her marriage didn't come with the added benefit of frequent plastic surgeries. I think that maybe she would want to leave, but she couldn't because the lifestyle was favorable, her father said. Her social media pages also appear to show the young mother went through a dramatic plastic surgery transformation in recent years, and the frequent procedures led her father to question if proper protocols were being followed by Ben. Her father claimed that the surgeon told them that they were out of the medicine they would usually use, so he used something different. He also claims that there was no crash cart in the operating room with life-saving equipment such as oxygen and defibrillators. With the amount of swelling in her brain, that means her brain suffered from lack of oxygen for quite some time, her father said, claiming that there was a lack of properly trained staff on hand to help in case of emergency. We want answers, her father continued. We haven't been given answers. If that's a mistake, it was a mistake. But it doesn't bring my daughter back, you know. I don't want his money. I don't want anything. All I want is an answer because I think that we owe that to my daughter. According to the Pensacola News Journal, deputies previously responded to a call at the couple's $2.1 million Florida mansion in March in reference to a suicide. Ben reportedly told the dispatcher that his wife was barely conscious and still unresponsive due to self-medication with an unknown amount of Valium. Hillary admitted to taking the Valium but denied being suicidal saying she just wanted her husband to know she was serious. The case is being heard in the Escambia County Circuit Court and is ongoing. While Brown was still under investigation, his family released a statement condemning allegations of malpractice against the plastic surgeon. Let me know what you all think of this case in the comments. Billy Luna. Please subscribe to the Billy Luna channel and like the video. Thank you.